I don't know what sex would be like now that I'm 80, okay? Because let's face it, these men are younger than I am, so they do have some movable parts. First of all, if I really want that man to start touching anything, then that's the part that if he wants to touch it, he better get it fixed first, because we have a lot of renovation to do here. Hi, my name is Fred. I'm 82 years old, I'm an old coot. I was born in Brooklyn, and now I live in beautiful wine country, California. I started as a salesman. In fact, I sold Bibles door to door on Long Island. I retired from IBM as a vice president. I was married for 57 years. I had two wonderful wives. Unfortunately, I've been widowed twice. When I retired, and moved to Sonoma County. I built a wonderful French chateau. Welcome to my home. I lived in France for five years and I enjoy all things French. Nice artwork, entertaining. Even though I'm 82, I don't feel that. I wake up every morning and I believe my cup is 95% full. Never get too much practice with your putter. Nothing beats a nice dip in the pool. I love to travel. It'd be great to have a partner doing that. I love to dance, but most of all, I love to have fun. It's date number two, and I'm about to meet Fred, and I'm excited about it. Hi, Lydia, I'm Fred. <laughs> nice to meet you. I love your Uber. Right? Let's have fun. Let's do it. Maybe for the rest of our life. You never know. They told me you were gorgeous, and they didn't lie. Oh, thank you for that. I moved to California in 1994, and then retired. My wife and I uh, bought 60 acres, and we built a French house. Look at that, that was gorgeous. I could actually put my wardrobe in that house. <laughs> oh, yeah. It would actually fit. It would fit very nicely. Maybe. Nice. I've, I've been married twice and widowed twice. Okay. And I oh. do have nine children and 14 grandchildren. Oh, that's fabulous. A little tradition we have here we brought back from Venice. If you kiss a loved one or anyone special as you're going underneath the bridge on a gondola, it's supposed to bring you good luck. Good okay. luck, Fred. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, oh, I, love it. Was a I love it. So one thing that I've always enjoyed doing is sitting outside, having some wine and some cheese, and maybe even hold hands. Oh, you never know. Let's not get carried away. No, I like holding hands and going, <laughs> going shopping. I always love the Hermes sale in Paris. Ooh. And I'd be on the line there with 60 Ooh. women, and I could really? elbow with oh the rest of God, them. Oh my god, that would be exciting. Go to Japan and buy your pearls. Yeah? You like pearls? Oh, that's old I'll fashion. drink to that. We don't have a bridge, but the hell with it. I'll drink to that. <laughs> I've been diagnosed with early stages of CRS. Now, what is that? Can't remember <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll drink to that. I love that. Well, please give a warm welcome to Fred from Santa Rosa, California. So Fred, how you doing, sir? I'm doing terrific. Well, how about proud, you, Dr. Proud to meet Phil? You. So how'd your date go with uh, Lydia? I thought it was fantastic. Right? Riding in a gondola was fun. So you guys felt time. like you had a lot in common as well, right? Yes, we did. So what was it that jumped out at you about Fred? Well, I really liked the fact that uh, we understood that we may be talking about something that has a point that we're trying to make, and then all of a sudden it's just gone. It's, it's <laughs> gone. It just flies away. We know it'll come back, but we don't know exactly when, do we, Fred? But I like know. that, you know? Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.